Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, the San Diego Comic-Con panel that had uh, Scream Factory and Shout Factory just ended and they have 14 new announcements for Scream Factory coming up. So I'm going to actually cover this. I'm actually not going to have an edited video. So there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be some errors, but I kind of want to do this um, so that I could get it up pretty quick. Um, otherwise, I won't be able to do this until tomorrow in order to kind of record it and do all the editing and everything. So it's not going to be quite as slick, but I'll do an updated video uh, because they've also already released even some of the artwork and stuff. And a couple pre-orders are already up on the Shout Factory website. So let me put my glasses on. Sorry about the glare, but I'm going to transition over to the... Scream Factory Facebook page and as you can tell they got 14 titles coming up first one is uh, Charles Bronson one of 10 to midnight now 10 to midnight I believe was already out on Twilight time but that is long out of print um, so that's a uh, um, that's one actually I don't think I've seen and I'm I've been on a big uh, Charles Bronson kick lately so I'm excited to get that one it says expect the street date early 2019 um, obviously Candyman that was the one they closed out on on their announcements uh, that's a massive collector's edition I talked about the arrow announcement um, uh, was it last week or even just a couple days ago actually Um so I was kind of wondering who's going to be putting that there. So I'm glad uh, that it's Scream Factory. And that is already up for pre-order on their website. And uh, it's already got like a bunch of stuff listed. You know, it's got new commentary tracks. Obviously, it's utilizing that new master that was uh, just created um, kind of thing. So and then... Um, okay, I'm sort of scrolling down here. Oh, actually, some of it's uh, new artwork and everything. Yeah, I think there's two uh, for Candyman. I think there's actually two release, uh, two lithographs that they're doing with that. Okay, and then number three. So the Craft, they're doing a collector's edition of the Craft uh, coming out in early 2019. Oh, uh, Candyman is coming out, by the way, uh, November 20th. Actually, I missed that right there. Craft coming out early 2019. Uh, one that I'm actually really happy that they announced. I was thinking maybe they would just do the first film. But they're actually doing uh, the Critters Collection. So it'll have all four Critters films in the one set. Uh, and I, it's... Um, <laughs> I mean, that's actually... That was the one that sort of kind of really surprised me. So... Uh, plan for November 27th, uh, and if you order from them, you get a lithograph and everything. Got uh, uh, Now, they're starting to do some Hammer films, which is good news. They're doing, obviously, uh, so they just announced Dracula, Dracula Prince of Darkness uh, due out in December, it looks like. And it says, expect more Hammer films in 2019, by the way, which is fantastic. Ooh, and it, it will have a new film transfer which is really good. Um, one I'm actually really excited for, just because I've never seen it, is the Brian De Palma film Obsession. Now, I have known about Obsession for a long time, It's but it's one that I haven't been able to actually find uh, in order to watch it. So I'm excited to get that. Uh, that is due out in early 20... All right, so I gotta wait till next year. Early 2019 for that one. Uh, another exciting one, Saturday the 14th. I've been waiting for somebody to put that out. That's, you know, that's um, due on early 2019. That's a film that I, I actually saw in the theater as a kid. I was really, really young, but I still remember so many aspects of that. Uh, and uh, so I'm so happy that's actually coming out. I even have the poster for, for that, too. I, mean, I, mean, I've, I guess technically at this point I have a poster for, like, everything. Uh, let's see, Screamers, a fantastic uh, film with Peter Weller and Jennifer Rubin. That's coming out in early 2019. I've been kind of wondering about that one because I think that one actually got caught up in some rights issues. And I know uh, uh, my friend Lindell and I, like, we're both kind of big Peter Weller fans. And I know he and I have mentioned that film to each other on several occasions. So that's exciting 
that that is finally coming out. It even says actually often requested. Yeah, that's, I can. I and I'm one of them. Uh, single white female, which is an interesting one that they're doing. Um, definitely fits because that is pretty much. I mean, you know, it's it's a psychological horror. It's it's a horror film. I mean, you know, they can they used to twist those words. Um, back in the nineties, you know, when, when horror started becoming a, a, a bad word, they would, you know, even, yeah, they call it here a psychotic thriller. Yeah, it's a horror film. Um, that's due out November 30th. So looking forward to see actually what extras they got, they get for that one. Um, and everything. Cause I don't like, for example, Bridget Fonda is like a huge horror film fan. So I wonder if she'll actually be willing to participate in some ways. Uh, another exciting one, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, and it will be a collector's edition, uh, coming out in December, that's, that's good. Now, obviously, the thing about Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 is the fact that, like, literally half the film is a recap of the first film, so it's, it's sort of an oddball film, but then all the new stuff that they shot, uh, that technically is Part 2, which is sort of the, the younger brother who's now grown up is like, it's amazing. It's hilarious. I mean, it's so I, the fact that half the film is just a rehash of the first film, <sighs> you know, I'm just, you just deal with it, you know, <laughs> thing, just so you can get to the wackiness of the, the newer stuff. So I'm definitely picking that up. So Christmas will definitely be interesting this year. And then a new, um, and a collector's edition of sleepwalkers, which is coming out. Um, and uh, uh, now the interesting thing about Sleepwalkers, which will be interesting to know. Okay, it's planned for November 11th, um, and everything. Uh, what I'm looking forward to seeing when they announce is which, what is Sleepwalkers gonna be? Because there was sort of a. Mick Harris has always talked about sort of a longer cut of Sleepwalkers. Now I don't know if that's something that is possible to to do i don't know whether or not the stuff that was edited out is even you know anything that's workable or anything but if it is that would be fantastic i mean i think that would be a really cool one but even not i mean if it was just a theatrical cut i think that'll be just a really good addition again more john carpenter i'm so excited starman is getting a collector's edition you know we're, we're get to the point where pretty much all of carpenter's films have had some sort of special edition you know almost it's a couple more but i mean it's nice that you know his films are getting uh getting out there so uh expect the street day december okay and number 13 and 14 i'll do those together are uh urban legend the original film um which is going to be a uh quite a collector's edition a two disc set um and it says here that the director, Jamie Blanks, and participation for many of the cast and crew are going to be involved. So that is going to be pretty cool. And that's due out November 20th. And then Urban Legends Final Cut, um, which is due out November 20th as well. Okay, I'd assume so, but, you know, you never know. Um Kind of thing. So, and then extras on that will be coming. Assume that's not now. That's not going to be a collector's edition like the first film. But I think there, it'll still have some extras on that. Uh, so quite a lot going on here. In fact, I don't know if you. I mean, unfortunately, I know the image is kind of small, but you can tell. So some of these covers are already um, on there. It was Saturday fourteenth. Now I didn't see that on the website but because uh, some of these are already on the website like these uh right here candy man sleepwalkers second white female urban legend the sequel and the critters box set those are already up for pre-order on shell factory website i didn't see saturday the 14th those these others are not i think um yet anyway but as you can see it's quite a lineup that they got i mean um I admit there wasn't that one title that was sort of a full on like, oh, my God, 
I, you know, can't believe that that is actually coming out. But you know what? At the same time, um, I have to admit that uh, it's just a fantastic lineup. I mean, the, the Candyman is a nice surprise just because I was hoping somebody good would get that title. Uh, Sleepwalkers is nice. I mean, Second White Female is an interesting choice. Um, Urban Legends in the sequel. I mean, again, you know, more slasher films and stuff. Um, Saturday the 14th, I'm obviously happy about uh, movies like The Craft and Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, which I know is pe- people have been wanting for a while. I think there was a rights issues with that one or something for a bit. Um, and again, obviously the Hammer films, people really want Hammer films and they want them done, you know, correctly. Um, and obviously a movie like Screamers um, and everything. The, the Charles Bronson one is an interesting one for them to put out. But again, I'm happy because I'm on this Charles Bronson kick. So I'm looking forward to that one. Starman, obviously, you know, John Carpenter. Uh, Obsession, I'm super excited about because I haven't seen it. And it's, you know, Brian De Palma. And then obviously the Critters box set, which uh, I think it's the longest time I've been like, when is Critters going to get like a Blu-ray release? And now it's, you know, not just Critters, but it's all four. So it's quite a, you know, it, it's a good assortment of titles. Um I don't know how many more they're going to announce for this year. I mean, you know, this plus the ones they just announced, you know, with like, you know, creep show and, and stuff. I mean, um, that's, that's a pretty full slate. I mean, I know some of these are still for next year, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what else they're going to be putting out this year, but it's like, man, my wallet. Cause the thing is I went to the website and I already pre-ordered uh, a couple of these that were up kind of everything. By the way, if you order it right now, it looks like on the website, they have some sale going on. And when I added everything to my cart and then Kemp was going through the checkout process, it like, it was like a 20% sale kind of thing. And it like applied that. So I, I thought that 20% thing was only on like in stock items. So I don't know, jump on the website and like pre-order some of this stuff. Cause I think you'll get the discount on that. So anyway, uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's obviously a rambling video. That's why this channel is subtitled vague ramblings because i tend to do that which is why there's also a lot of editing in my videos because uh now you know why so um anyway let me know what titles you're excited about for uh the scream factory ones that they announced at uh, comic-con this year and um yeah as usual with the youtube stuff you know you gotta like because it does help not just to know that you like the video but it does help with the youtube algorithm obviously subscribe if this is your first time watching it because i do want you to come back and jump in for uh my better edited videos <laughs> than this one and as always um yeah just thank you for the support thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one